Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues. In this season, we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is tolerance. Like many of these fake virtues, tolerance is good and even virtuous under certain conditions, and less good under other conditions. It can even be evil if it's misused. There are two main types of tolerance that should, first off, be distinguished from each other. Tolerance towards actions, and tolerance towards people. First, tolerance towards actions. Is this kind of tolerance justified? Well, first we have to ask, what kinds of actions are you talking about? Good actions or bad actions? Tolerance of good actions is never justified. Why? Because good actions deserve more than our tolerance. They deserve our appreciation and support. To tolerate a person's good actions is to undervalue them. Tolerance of bad actions, however, can be very good. For example, if someone lies to you or cuts in front of you in the lineup at the local buffet, that's a bad action, but flying off the handle and insisting on immediate justice, or really even holding a grudge against the person, wouldn't help matters. You're much better off just tolerating their action. Now, of course, there are instances where one is morally obligated to interfere with a person's bad actions. For instance, if an insane killer decides to chase you and your friends with a machete, people have a moral right to live, and protecting this right in others is sufficient reason to stop such a man. We don't tolerate axe murdering or embezzling or rampant adultery because these kinds of actions are gravely immoral and violate the rights of our fellow man. Now, even this kind of opposition to evil requires some tolerance so that one can keep themselves under control while opposing evil, but not to the point of saying, oh well, it's clearly pure evil, but I guess I have to tolerate it. Of course, there are actions which modern society tolerates which are gravely evil and violate the rights of our fellow man, but all this proves is that human society is not consistent in its devotion to moral values. The principle is sound. Finally, we come to the question of whether tolerance practiced towards people is right. After all, we often hear about showing tolerance towards people of many different races, ages, genders, and so forth. Are we justified in showing tolerance to people as well as to bad actions? Well, no. The reason I say that we should never tolerate people is the same reason that we should never tolerate good actions. It's so much less than our moral obligation that it could actually be considered an insult to human dignity. We should agape other people, treat them with charity, not tolerance. What kind of world would it be if people walked down the street every day merely tolerating those around them? Actually, I have a pretty good idea what it would be like, because I see some of this in the area of the world where I live. People rarely say hello to one another. They won't look you in the face. They assume you prefer to be left alone. They almost never take an interest in anyone else. Oh yes, that's what tolerance of people brings about. Now, of course, the word tolerance is sometimes misused to mean pluralism or even religious pluralism on bumper stickers and the like, but I'll deal with that in a couple episodes. As a human being, and certainly as a Catholic, I could never justify tolerating another human being because I should be treating them with charity. I think that's about all there is to say about tolerance. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.